Hello Aquarius, welcome to your you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on and the connection between you and your person. Uh, what do you need to know about your energies and feelings towards each other? Uh, as always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Aquarius watching 100%. Make sure you check out your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance in your birth chart. Sometimes those messages can resonate more. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box if you want to check them out. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on for you in love. These readings are for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. And feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spare, what's going on for Aquarius regarding love? What's going on in the connection at this time between Aquarius and their person? What's going on for Aquarius at this time? Ace of Wands reverse, Ten of Coin reverse. What's going on for them at this time? For Aquarius, what's that? Three of Cups reverse. I'm just curious the chariot nine of coin wow the hermit page of coin nine of cups nine of coin and the chariot so these just happen to fall out of the deck i mean i was just curious i wanted to look at them i'm getting that this is someone's um goal aspiration They've been thinking about this, dreaming about this, perhaps. Uh, I'm picturing someone daydreaming. So, okay. Let's see what else we get. Uh, I'm going to just put these up here. Spirit, what do we need to know about Aquarius? What do we need to know about the energy that Aquarius is bringing to this connection? What do we need to know? I'm just going to put these like this for now and then... I'll flip them when it's time to look at you and your person. What about the person Aquarius is dealing with? Okay, so I wanted to come out. What about the person that Aquarius is has or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about their energies? Interesting. Okay. Um, Aquarius, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like there's frustration here for at least one person because things are not how they could be. Like, um, like things could be so much better if only this didn't exist or if only there wasn't this problem. Obviously, that's different for all of you, but it's like a, a frustration that I, I'm sensing is like pent up. So it's been building. Now, the three of cups is reversed here. So I don't know. There's some sort of interference, third party uh, situation that you're in. But um, I feel like there's frustration here. It's something that's not happening. Deception and make the effort. So someone possibly told you they would be doing something, making an effort, putting an effort towards something, um, and maybe they didn't, or perhaps are prevented from doing it. Um, someone's wearing a mask in this connection or hiding something. Um, maybe there was a deception. And uh, how do I say this? Um, the deception is the interference. So someone could have lied or kept something hidden and that has caused a lot of frustration and caused things to just not proceed, progress with the Ace of Wands reverse. With Ace of Wands reverse, something is not starting, not beginning. Something is kept from, you know, being uh, begun or created. Tell me more about this connection and the current situation, Spirit. Tell me more for Aquarius. What can you tell me about the connection? What's going on right now in this connection between Aquarius? reach out walk walking away and budding romance so someone could be wanting to uh reach out because another person walked away 
divine timing and wishing well yeah i feel like someone's just imagining um a goal or just or has a desire um to change this maybe they want to start something new with budding romance a new beginning in this connection um a courtship uh, new love because I feel like someone has already possibly there's uh, there could be already distance between you and this person a lack of communication maybe there you guys are not talking or um, are not visiting each other but I feel like despite that someone still has a dream or a goal to have this be a uh, new beginning in love sorry I can't really talk English right now <laughs> Um, I'm trying to process like all the messages that I'm getting in my mind right now and then also speak English and it's it's been uh, difficult okay so let's see let's break these down up here these energies I'm kind of getting already an idea of what's going on but I kind of want to see what else is happening here and I can't ignore the fact that your person they have the double reverse and there's a ten of coin reverse here. So there could be an attachment that someone is stuck in, perhaps your person, long-term commitment or a marriage perhaps, or just a toxic situation. What do we need to know for Aquarius? Please for Aquarius. So let's see what's going on with this. Six of Cups, okay. Let's see what's going on with this Ace of Wands reverse. Tell me about the Ace. Okay, I just got the message that the, the there's something that um, happened in the past that is a problem now. So Six of Cups could also be children, but I feel like this was some a mistake perhaps that someone made in the past or a decision that someone made in the past that's affecting your connection with them now. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's resistance here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. It's like someone would need to fight to have this um, new beginning. Yeah. Seven of Wands, Page of Wands. I'm picturing someone like literally fighting for a chance. Um, needing to stand up to other challenges or obstacles, you know, being firm, standing firm, being brave, um, so that they can take even the basic steps or the smallest steps. Justice is here at the bottom of the deck, and then right behind that, the Fool, Libra Energy. So I feel like this is something that's right. So someone fighting for this new beginning, someone with this Page of Wands and the Justice card, I'm almost getting like someone's taking baby steps to have justice. And this could be you or your person because this is your connection right now. Both of your energies are here. Feel free to flip them. I think this is someone wanting to be free. Devil reverse. So someone no longer wanting to be stuck, restricted, trapped. Can I get one more for this Ace of Wands reverse? What else do we need to know about this Ace of Wands reverse? Yeah, there's justice. So definitely justice. And then there's the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So d someone's definitely feeling stuck or feeling frustrated or like they can't see a way out of their situation. But I feel like this is not going to be for long. Why is the Ten of Coin reverse? Why is the Ten of Coin reverse? Yep, the Ace of Wands. I feel like there's a commitment that's ending or um, if someone was having financial difficulties or issues with stability that that's over and they're having a new beginning here. Tell me about the Ten of Coin reverse. What do we need to know? Queen of Pentacles. Oh yeah, someone could definitely be married or um, was attached to another person due to finances or assets or something like that. Can I get one more for the Ten of Coin reverse? Eight of Coin. Yeah, this is somebody that's been working hard at this, putting in effort, um, fighting for this. So what's with this Three of Cups reverse? This could be that there is a reunion that is delayed or blocked or a third party interference. What's this Three of Cups reverse about, Spirit? What do we need to know? 
Yep, Six of Swords. Someone's leaving the third party, it looks like. Walking away. Or if this is somebody that walked away in the past, that's preventing you from coming together right now for whatever reason. So if this person walked away from you in the past and got married, obviously they can't just come right back to you. That's just an example. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse. Let's see what else we get here. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Two of Coins and Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody definitely free, independent of a third party. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I think this person went back and forth with the Two of Pentacles or they had a lot going on. They were trying to juggle a lot here. Maybe they were trying to make it work, but I think that this is somebody that finally decided to be free of the situation that they find themselves in. So let's look at your energies with this person or your energies between the energies between you and this person. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Can I get some insight into the energies between Aquarius and this other person? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about these energies? What do we need to know? Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Love letter. A special message is on its way. Tell me about the person Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with. I think this person's going to reach out to you, Aquarius. Breathe in. Can we get one more? For this person? What do we need to know about this person's energies? Wow, that's way too many, but I'm going to just take them. Okay, victory lap. Breathe in, past life, and hidden feelings. Yeah, okay, so this person is from your past. Um, this person's probably thinking about the past, thinking about memories and keeping feelings to themselves about that. Um, let's see what else we can get. Actually, no, I want this one. What else? What else do we need to know about the energies? Now with breathe in and hidden feelings, I get the sense that a lot of you have not been in communication with this person. It's like they're quiet. Tell me more. Tell me more for Aquarius. Tell me more for Aquarius. I need to know about Aquarius and the energies they're bringing. The hyena. So that's that the, that mask energy. Hmm. Tell me about this other person. That's an interesting energy. Okay, hold on. I keep getting like a ton. For your person the lamb the eagle okay bottom of the deck deer deer is kind of like the queen of cups of this deck so the lamb is a messenger so i have a feeling that this person that you are dealing with aquarius has a message for you or has received a message from spirit um, and they're going to reach out to you um, i feel like this is somebody who sees obstacles in the distance in the future um they can they can see ahead with the buff buffalo oh my god i can't speak today i don't know what the heck is going on um but they're not giving up or they're not letting that kind of prevent them from doing what they need to do and then we have the eagle the eagle this is kind of like transformative fire like karmic fire <clears throat> let me look at that sorry about just clearing my whole throat in the mic <laughs> okay yeah this is um all pervading power truth seeker transforms karma uh the eagle emanates the light of the sun represents mastery over the elements of fire and air when the eagle appears you'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation so your person's probably been in a karmic uh cycle or dealing with a karmic partner uh, and they've gone through some sort of transformation because of that. Um, however, with hidden feelings, you don't trust this person because I feel, I don't know, it's almost like for you, it's not enough to imagine what this person thinks about you or imagine what they're, um, it, you need to hear it. You're not going to be just waiting around for this person to finally say what they have to say, you know? It's not enough. Aquarius, I'm almost picking up like in your mind 
there's a reason that they're not talking to you or there's a reason that this has not worked out and it's almost like you're thinking well if it's meant to be it will happen or that uh, energy of if they wanted to they would <laughs> i think that's that's where you're at but it's possibly because you're not you don't know that this person's literally been thrown into the karmic fire you know now in your uh energies we have the judgment card reverse and the three of wands yeah i feel like you've been waiting kind of um You've been waiting for this person and the, the message I'm getting is like, and this is against your better judgment. Like you don't understand why you're waiting for this person or you think that waiting for this person is not going to lead to a renewal of some sort. It's almost like you're just waiting because you can't help it or you're just waiting because you have nothing else going on or like something where... It's not a very big priority for you. I don't know why I'm getting this energy. Um, I think really what you want or need is closure or an understanding of what happened between you and this person. We have the sun and the devil reverse. Yeah, this person's definitely going to uh, break free of a situation. And for some reason, this is exactly what they need to do with the sun is kind of what I'm getting here. So let's clarify, let's clarify. I get some insight, please. I think in your mind, if they were to talk to you or communicate, like you're not sure what you would do about that. You're not sure how you would feel. Perhaps this person really, I don't know, they really messed up in the past. And so they have a lot to make up for. So let's go over here with you. Tell me about judgment reverse. Why is judgment reverse? Two of Wands, why is, yeah, I get the sense, okay, why is Judgment Reverse? I mean, it could be that you want to reunite with this person, to have a renewal with this person, but circumstances are such that you don't think that that can realistically happen, so you don't understand why you're waiting, but I think what you want is confirmation or uh, a message or an uh, honest conversation with this person. Why is the three of wands here? Maybe you waited for this person for a long time and in the middle of that you gave up, <laughs> but you can't seem to just stop waiting, if that makes sense. If that's resonating with you, please leave me a comment down below and let me know that I am right about that or that's how you feel. Tell me about the three of wands. King of wands, tell me about the three of wands. The high priestess. Yeah, I feel like you're drawn to this person, but you haven't really heard anything from them or there's still like something that hasn't been expressed or talked about. Tell me about this King of Wands. Tell me about this King of Wands. Yeah, the Magician. So this is somebody, I feel like you're waiting for this person to do something. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You're waiting for them to take action, to, to, to do what, you know, maybe you've been manifesting this, but with the high priestess, I don't think anything has happened. So maybe you're questioning your sanity here or wondering why, how much longer are you gonna wait? Tell me about the high priestess. Yeah, 10 of wands. Yeah, you're wondering like, how much longer am I gonna be in the dark or carrying this burden or worried about this particular situation? I think you just want to hear from them just to either decide if you want to get back together or you can cut them loose completely. Tell me about the devil reverse. Tell me about the devil reverse. Nine of cups. Tell me about the devil reverse spirit. What do we need to know? Ten of pentacles. Yeah. This person, this is like their wish, their desire is to be free. Four of pentacles. And the lovers. Okay, Gemini energy. What are these? Knight of Swords. Okay, these cards just keep. Okay, the world, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hangman. Okay, so I feel like this person, when it comes to um, breaking free of whatever they're in, it's with a goal. Um, however, I don't think this person is completely free of their karmic situation. So maybe this is somebody that moves out 
and thinks, oh, it's over, I'm free. But that's there's still going to be uh, entanglements there because the Four of Pentacles is here. So I just don't get like, I, I don't see this person completely independent like the Nine of Pentacles. They're thinking about you with the lovers though. Like I, I get the sense that they're thinking about a, a, a different future. Ten of Pentacles, the lovers. Why is the sun here? Maybe they want to bring clarity to you. Clear the air. Put everything out in the open. Tell me about the sun. Yeah, they're going to be coming to you. Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun? This is a small offer, but it's an offer, yeah? And it's to heal this connection. Temperance and Six of Pentacles. And they're coming in hot with the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So Sagittarius energy there. So to me, this is very clear energy. This is somebody that I feel like the Ten of Pentacles in the Sun is a symbol for you. The Lovers is a symbol for you. Aquarius wanting to be with you. Wanting to make things right with you. Balance things out. Harmony. Uh, four of Wands, Temperance, and Six of Pentacles. These are all cards about stability and harmony. And they're hoping this Page of Pentacles will do it. So you can definitely expect this person to reach out to you and bring you this page of pentacles. And I think it's something you've been waiting for for a really long time. And I think um, some of you probably just didn't understand, you know, why it took so long or thought it might never happen. You know, I just I just get that energy. Let me grab a couple more. All right, let me ask my question here. What can you tell me, spirit? about this connection that we don't know that we need to know what do we need to know for aquarius about this connection pathway okay it's going to take a little bit of time this person i feel is on a, on a path a spiritual journey pathway is basically telling you that someone's on a path that and they're not at their destination yet they still got a way to a way to go but at least they're on the right path so this person's on the right path um and that's why I just don't get the sense that this person is completely done with their karmic situation. But they're on the right path now to at least have that freedom. It's just not going to happen overnight. What else can we get um, for Aquarius and this other person? What can you tell me about Aquarius and their thoughts, feelings when it comes to this connection? Aquarius. I see you in my dreams. Okay. So you're still thinking about this person. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What are their thoughts, feelings? I still check up on you. Yeah, you're both mirroring each other. Even if you're not together, you're thinking of each other. I want forever with you. Yep. This person is definitely, um, they have a goal in mind when it comes to you, Aquarius. It's not just showing up to talk. This isn't just a page of cups. This isn't a page of swords. This is a page of pentacles. So there's... um. An idea of a future here. When someone comes to you with a page of pentacles, they're thinking of a future goal, a future desire. Um, they're willing to put in the work. Um, it's, it's, it's a promise you can count on, basically. But it's going to be up to you to decide if this is what you want. Thank you so much for watching, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.